Hello everyone, I'm Rachel from the Innisfil Idea Lab and Library, and in today's Tinker Shop tutorial, we're going to learn how to import images and text into the Cricut program to create either vectors or heat transfer items or decals. So let's get started. When you open up the Cricut design space, you'll click on New Project. Over to the left hand side, click on Upload, and you want to upload your image. You can browse through your computer and choose your selected image. Try to pick black and white images or something with very hard lines. This will make it simpler for the program to convert it. Click on simple and you'll notice your white background has now turned gray. Click continue and now you want to select all the white in your design and remove it. This will help the program know what areas to cut and what not to cut. If you've accidentally removed your design, just go up to the right hand corner and click undo. Click continue. Then click on save as a cut image. Hit save. And now your image should be in your recently uploaded images. Click on that one and insert it into your design space. Right here, it will give you the measurements of the width and the height. And you can adjust this by clicking and dragging on the arrow tool to unlock it and modify it. Just hit the unlock button and then you can freeform your butterfly. You can also rotate it and you can also delete it. Up at the top here, you have an option where you can either cut it, draw it, score it, engrave it, or even do perforated edges. Here, this will help you separate it when you go into the cutting part of the design space. Next, we're going to use a website called DaFont, and DaFont is a free website that allows you to use different kinds of text and you actually can preview and see your text. So you can go here and either download fonts, um, put them into another uh, program such as Inkscape, and then you can also import them into the Cricut Design Space. In the preview window, you can type in what you would like it to say and it'll give you a preview of what the font will look like. Scroll through and choose one that you like. And I'm gonna use a snipping tool that'll be able to do a screenshot. So I'm just gonna click on new, and I'm gonna draw a box around the section that I would like to copy. I'm gonna to go to file, save as, and then I'm gonna go back to my Cricut design space. So again, I'm gonna to go to upload, upload my image, click browse, and then I'm gonna scroll through and find my screen capture that we just did. I'm going to click on simple again and then hit continue. Again, I'm going to remove that white space and any of these little areas that are inside my design. Always to make sure to look inside those little loops. They can be tricky. Hit continue and you'll be able to see a preview here. Click on your save as a cut line and hit save. Click on your image and now you can insert it into your Cricut design space. I'm gonna make our butterfly a little smaller. I'm gonna put that down there. So now we have two different colors. And if I wanted to change it and be the same, I can just click on the purple and it'll all be one color. So now go over to either save project and call it Okay, so our item has now been saved and we can continue working on other designs. Or if we're hooked up to our Cricut, we can actually hit make it. Here, you also have an option to adjust how your item gets cut out. You can click and drag on your item and move it around. Or 
place it where you have enough material. We have everything in place. Just hit continue and it should connect to your Cricut. So you've learned how to import your own images into the Cricut design space and you've learned how to convert text and import it also into the Cricut design space. So get creative and share all of your designs with us. I'm Rachel from the Innisfil Idea Lab and Library, and thanks for joining me. Take care.